And we're back with another episode of The Real Rides with views and vibes. I'm super excited. I got a special guest with me today. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I made it out. Finally, you guys get me in that. We got Rob the TX Realtor. We always giving him shout outs. Always. He's finally here. What State you yourself. Got? What you got for us? Rob the TX Realtor, I'm glad to have you guys to be in this wonderful <laughs> episode, you guys. Thank you for having me. I appreciate the opportunity. How we safety first, you want to sit down. Exactly what I was thinking. How do you know that? Safety first, safety first. Because you're no problem. Precious cargo, Precious cargo, Rob. Precious Precious cargo. Precious cargo. We need you on the squad, you know what I yeah. mean? All, All right. right, safety's on. Safety's there you on. Go. There you go. All right, guys. What else you got? Do you have more? For your intro? Nah, Rob the TX Realtor. Just please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Rob the TX Realtor whenever you get the chance. The plug. All right, enough <laughs> for the plug. There's not got okay, to, to the, to the, to the gritty, nit and gritty nit part. Nit and gritty. Um, so today we wanted to talk to you guys about the importance of having a realtor. Oh, yeah. What you got? Um, I think it's very, <laughs> very important to have a realtor in hand. I mean, especially if you are. What are the benefits of a realtor, right? Um, we know the market, we have access to a lot of information, but I think the most key thing, component to us is the relationships that we have. Um, they say realtors are always uh, the, the love connection person of making things happen, bringing oh, things. Oh, you're a matchmaker. Yeah, the matchmaker. There you go. <laughs> there you go, vibes. Who's views and who's vibes? No, we go through that every we time. We go through this every time. I'm views. Because I'm I like, views. Because Why I like to views? look at him. Because she likes looking at me. And I'm wow. the vibe because vibe. I'm vibe. She feels <laughs> oh, that vibe. Boy. Oh boy, please chime in, ladies and gents. Who's so, views and who's vibes? So, I could be both. So, real quick. So, whenever I do go into a deal yeah. and I present you a deal, what are some of the things that you, a realtor, can help you with assessing the deal? As an investor, coming to investor. a realtor. Right. Um, so the first thing we actually we actually get the, the property information. Then we look into comps, which is the main thing. We look into comps, um, look into the area, the school district, you know, the neighborhood, the type of home, whether it's one story, two stories, what's been sold. I mean, us realtors, we learn how to run comps uh, more accurately than some other folks. And so, when you uh, say comps, let the people know what comps is. What, 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 what is, is it comp? Comps, it's seen what have sold in the last, I like to do last three months. Um, if the data that I receive in those three months is not enough sufficient to validate the price or give me the information I need to come up with a sales price for that particular investment, then I go to six month out um, and go 0.5 miles, um, 0.5 miles from the property um, or a mile. But the comps is just looking at what's sold, looking at pictures, seeing if it's granite countertop versus quartz, looking into if it's one story, two stories, how many bedrooms, pool, no pool, backyard. You guys know about pools, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, um, so yeah. So coming from an investor, that's all really good information to have because especially if you're trying to find a smart investment, you don't want to just put your money anywhere. You want to put your money in a neighborhood or an area that is either upcoming, getting remodeled, or what are some of the other things that he should look for as an investor? I mean, as an investor, I mean, obviously he knows it's the numbers, the numbers game, mm -hmm. um, what tickles his stomach. Um, as far as his return, <laughs> I wish we could like. Never had snacks. <laughs> that's a good one. Nah, snacks. Where you got any snacks? Man, man? Nah, no snacks today. We should get snacks. As being featured in the episode, we should get snacks in the back. We're working on okay, that. The way the budget is set. Can we get that in the budget right now? It's not in the budget yeah, right now. If you want to be a sponsor, you can go ahead there and go. Uh, just DM Give me. Give us a holler. Give me a message. We'll figure something out. I like it. I'm all about working together. But yeah, man, I mean, looking at comps, looking at what's sold, um, obviously the type of property, and then, you know, run your numbers, and then you make your, mon you make your money on the purchase. Because um, once you purchase, you already know what you're gonna, you know, make by the end of the day. Obviously, you go through, you know, certain obstacles, but you always uh, account for that, uh, for those mistakes that happen at the end. So what, what are some things that you don't encourage or you tell an investor to look out for when assessing the property or when looking at the property. Like, for instance, you and I have had situations where you're like, 
you know, don't buy a corner lot or don't buy this, don't look into that. I mean, talk a little bit more about them, the things that, you know, just to keep in mind to look for. Yeah, so some of the things that I notice in the real estate world when buying a property is being on a main road, being on the main road, busy street. When these buyers come out shopping and trying to buy your investment property, the first thing they're gonna, they're gonna come see it, but they're gonna complain about being in the corner, being in the main road. And then what happens is, yes, they might buy it, but yet they're gonna hammer you on the sales price and they're gonna take away at least 10 to 20,000 off that sales price that you think you're gonna make, but then you see the comps and what's sold being in the corner on that main street is just, no good. Um, All this information is really good, and that's why I encourage anyone who's looking to get into flipping, who's looking to just get a house, buy a house, anything, to have a realtor on the squad. And one that you can trust, one that's not just like trying to get paid real quick. I mean, one that knows what he's doing, knows what he's talking about, and can really be beneficial to the growth, right, of what you're trying to do. Yep. And willing to negotiate and willing to... Uh, has to be a negotiator. Or has to be a negotiator. At the end of the day, you're trying to make money, he's trying to make money, and he's trying to find the best deal for you. Um, again, that's why I say you have to get someone that you trust right. so that you, know, you can feel comfortable going into any kind of investment that you are making. And then... As far as having him on the team and you getting all that information from him, how does that help you when you go to like flip your property? Um, well, it helps out a lot. Cause once I, cause I'm a numbers guy at the end of the day. And once I get all the information that I need, I see a property, I have them evaluated, see if it makes sense, see if it's, 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 it's uh, I can get what I want for it. Mm -hmm. Then that's, that's it to me. It's a done deal. Then I'll definitely pursue that. And, and uh, make it happen. And then from there, I imagine that you know more of the numbers, like what you can put into the house. So if you're Correct. looking it to point, have yeah. a designer come in Ooh, to- who's the designer over here? There she is. Using Vibes Design. Um, so if you are looking to have somebody come in, then you have a number, right, to work with? Yeah, absolutely. I have the number and then you have to factor that in into the, the number on, on remodeling things. And, uh, you know, it's all about the numbers and, and, and doing your due diligence on, on the property. And the good thing we're having a realtor too is uh, on hand is just I'm able to take these guys to the property and give them access to other homes so they can see what's in the neighborhood, what's their competition, so we could do it a slightly better, not overly better because then you slightly just, better, but just slightly better. I know she laughs. And maybe that's another episode. That's, yeah, that's another episode. That's, episode. that's, that's another a whole other monster. That's a whole other monster. And I'm glad you came here to be us with us t t today in this beautiful ride. Oh, Special yeah. guest with the Rob the TX Realtor. I'm over here with Bob. Views is here. Homie just, we just listed. We out. Hey.